Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Coyote Punko 5 and Happy New Year's first of all because it's 2019 now. Yeah, if you haven't noticed then it's probably something wrong, but you know whatever. Anyway, so I just got the MB152, a rank 2 in France at a battle rating of 2.3. And I've looked into it a little bit, but I haven't actually played it yet, so the game you're going to see is probably going to be the first game I have in it. Anyway, so compared to some other nations and even some stuff around the same BR in France, it has just in general lower top speed, but it's actually not a huge deal if it performs well, which it, hopefully it will. Which, yeah, it probably will just because it has these uh, two 20mm cannons at 2.3 along with the 7.5mm. It has a pretty funny design though. It seems like the tail is almost too small or like too bulky or something. Yeah. So anyway, let's get into this battle. Okay, we just got into a match here. And of course, it's on Norway. The absolutely perfect first match. So anyway, I loaded up with uh, stealth on everything because I find that I aim best with stealth. So yeah. Anyway, so it has a minimum load of 30 minutes of fuel, so yeah, I suppose that makes sense. I'm kidding, why in the world does it have a minimum of 30 minutes of fuel? I prefer to ride about 20 minutes, otherwise it slows down the plane. Anyway, um, let's see how well this thing actually climbs, because 10 meters per second does not seem very promising to me. It doesn't do 20, I kind of don't expect it to. Okay, it's gaining speed at 15. Let's bring it down a little bit lower. Oh, no, not landing flaps. That, that would not be good. Okay, it seems like it does pretty well around 13 or so degrees. Yep. Gotta turn right a little bit so I don't get singled out. Anyway, yeah, Norway. I guess I'm cut until the battle. Okay, I just reached 5.6 or 0.7k, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so it seems like once it gets up to altitude, it really doesn't like to accelerate. It's just kind of sad. Anyway, so we got some Germans and Italians down here, so let's go mess with them. See how, they, see how good these guns actually are. And how fast you can go until this thing rips. <laughs> this might be a fun kill right here. Oh no, the rudder locks up. Kinda should have expected that. Okay, I'm gonna pull up... Yeah, if I went down lower, I probably would've hit the ground. Glad I expected that. Okay. I'm gonna head back up again and hit this guy. There we go. Man, my French crews have no skills. Actually, looks like the BF-109 here is the better shot. Ah, I missed. Looks like these 20 millimeters aren't very high velocity. Come on. There we go. Let's see if we can catch up to this 109 here. Looks like it shouldn't be a problem. Looks like this thing might actually be faster at low altitude than I would have thought. Okay, let's fire off some rounds. Well, that works. I like this thing's guns very, very much. Now I just need to make sure it's not a fluke. Oh look, something to help me make sure it's not a fluke. Come on, pole. Certainly not very good at maneuvering, just putting that out there. Okay, maybe against heavy vehicles it's not very good. But against that 109, it just completely tore that thing apart. That was amazing. 
Speaking of 109s, here's another one. Let's see if I can catch up here. Yeah, I'll take a kill assist. Jeez, everyone went that went for that thing. Okay, is the 109 turning back around? No. But it looks like I should be able to catch it. Surprisingly well. Okay, looks like the engine stops overheating pretty quickly. That's kind of nice. How is this 109 going so slowly? Is this engine dead? Huh. Because I'm going to be within firing range very quickly. Or maybe it was just the angle that I was coming at him with. Because now it looks like he's outspeeding me. Huh, that was... That was weird. Do you have his, like, throttle down or something? Do you over his engine? That doesn't seem right. Oh, there he goes. Good shot by the bowfighter. Okay, now we just need to find the rest of them. Probably gonna land on A, because I'm low on ammo from... Attempting to shoot down that, what was it, a, uh, Yunkers something 88? Man, where is everyone? It's parachute. There's one. I'm gonna head for that. Looks like he's getting shot at by our ships. I wonder if he's a attacker and he might be torpedoing one of those. Or if he's just an interesting person and is flying at ships. Oh no, the landing craft, right, yeah. Looks like he's heading for those. I'll have to speed over there real quick before we lose those. Looks like it reaches near to its top speed fairly easily, which is kind of surprising. Where is this guy heading? Is he heading this direction? What is that thing? Is that a Stuka? I really... oh, yep, there we go. Stuka. An Italian Stuka, no less. Should be a pretty easy kill. It's flying really low and really slow. Okay, that was depressing. Maybe without the 20 millimeters, this thing is terrible. Just hope he doesn't get me with that gunner. Oh, there goes my engine and my pilot, but at least I got him. I'm gonna go land at the airfield now. I think I'll see you in the next game. We just got into another game here. It is on Sicily, and we are facing the Germans and Italians as usual on this map, and yeah, it's climbing time. Jeez. Well, I guess I'll see you in, like, five minutes for me. Okay, it looks like a C-205 decided to hop on my 6. That's not good. I don't like C-205s. No, please, please no. Please no. Okay, I'm pulling up. Come on. Yeah, this is not gonna be fun. I don't, I don't like facing C-205s. These things are scary. Unless they're an idiot and try to maybe turn fight me. Come on, if I can just get my guns on target, this guy's gonna die very quickly. It's gonna follow this guy. Come on. Darn it, my engine's overheating again. Looks like this thing does not like desert maps. If he just keeps turning, he's gonna die. I might have to pull off of him and go for one of these C-202s, because I'm not catching him. Yeah, I'm gonna head for a C-202.
Okay, perfection. It seems like these guns do a lot sometimes, and other times they'll just get your classic War Thunder hits. Man, I hate getting hits. It's worse than not hitting anything. Come on, do something. Oh my god, why? For a second there, I thought this thing was actually going to be a... There we go, finally. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it that it can do damage, but it just... It, sometimes it takes a little bit of effort. Oh wow, Stukas. That's nice. Oh, and a 112. How's a 112 in here? Are those 2.3 as well? I don't think there's a 2.3112. And he crashed. Was that locking up or was he just dumb? Ha. Huh. Ooh, there's also a duck. I'm gonna go duck hunting. Is he seriously trying to chase down that Spitfire? It's hilarious. Should be a pretty easy kill. Oh, and a Stuka. I think I'll head for the Stuka first. Ooh, and a second Stuka. This is beautiful. Looks like he's smoking as well. And the duck crashed. Wow. I mean, I get it's slow, but how do you crash a duck? Is he going to hit the ground too? Yep. Okay, where's the other Stuka? Please tell me he didn't also- there he is. There he is. I think that's the Stuka anyway. Can't imagine what else it would be. can't really tell how fast I'm closing in. I can't tell what he's doing. Oh my god, he just crashed. Well, I think I have a video title now. Oh my god. Why? Well, there goes the enemy team. This is a stupid game. At least I got a kill. Might as well go ground striking now. Anyways, that's pretty much the MB-152. It isn't particularly fast, it has okay guns, and it's sort of maneuverable. And it's premium, which is a nice thing. But still, it's, it's a solid meh out of 10. I would definitely go for tank tasks over this thing right here. But yeah, thank you guys so much for support in previous videos. I'm going to keep saying this because it keeps happening and I really appreciate it. it um, the F100 video just reached up to 1,700 views, so thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.